Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here. Thank you all so, so much for clicking on today's video. We are starting off with priming the walls yet again. Y'all know from the last episode that the two coats of primer that we applied still like was not working as well and those knots were coming through on our wood walls. So I went back and watched our video when we painted the living room and I realized that we used a different one. So we went to Home Depot, picked that up and we began spraying it on the walls and it seemed like it was immediately taking effect. But warning you guys, this stuff is so, so, so strong. Here's what it looks like dry. No knots are coming through. The walls look completely opaque and here is the primer right here it's been and y'all this stuff is the truth i definitely would recommend it it's what we used last time and it worked again for us this time so now that that's all completed the next day i'm going ahead and caulking like all the little cracks and gaps that we have here in this room it really stands out way more when you have like a lighter color wall so I'm just filling in all the little gaps and cracks that I see so that everything looks super seamless when we go and put the real paint on. So finally, after three coats of primer on these knotty pine walls, we can finally begin painting the official color. Thankfully, having a paint sprayer makes painting so much easier. So even though we had to do a third coat of primer, it really wasn't a big deal because it takes about like six minutes to paint this home room with the paint sprayer. And I will have it linked down below. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you do a lot of DIY projects. It's just, it saves so much time and it creates a very flawless finish. So I'm a big fan of this paint sprayer. And y'all just look at, look at the color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you guys, so as you just saw, Marcus was able to go ahead and put down the first layer of paint. I don't think we're gonna do a second coat, we might. And we chose the color Exclusive Ivory. It was the number one color in the comment section of last week's video. And it also was the one that I was favoring the most. So I was like, okay, we're all on the same page. Let's go ahead and do it. And right now I think it looks beautifully and it's drying beautifully. It's that perfect, like not stark white and not all the way as creamy as the vanilla frost color was. It's right there in the middle. And I think it's gonna be gorgeous. So now that that's done and drying, we have a few more tasks on the agenda for today. So we have to German schmear this portion of the brick wall as well as this little section right here, which is the same technique that we did in the living room. So both of the brick walls in the home will match and I think that'll look really nice. And then we also in this video are gonna be working on building the bench, which will be going 
right along here, you guys, and it's gonna look really, really good. So I don't know if you hear that right now, those construction sounds, but Marcus, oh sorry. Okay, so Marcus is actually outside right now, y'all, going ahead and cutting up all of the parts for the bench so we can just pop, 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 pop that into the wall over here. And I am just so excited. It's going to look so good. Let me show you guys the height in which we want the bench to be. All right, y'all, so right here, this green line, Top of it represents where the bench will stop and then the remaining portion all the way up to the trim is how thick I'm thinking the cushion might be. So the cushion will sit like right up underneath this trim. So yeah, so basically the pieces that he's cutting are from the floor all the way up to this line and we're gonna drill those pieces all the way in and across to start the foundation of our bench. And then I have a surprise for you guys right now. We did a thing yesterday. Y'all, I was on Facebook Marketplace looking for a desk and chair. Didn't find a desk, but I did find a chair. So I wanna take you guys outside with me right now to come look at it and see it. Tell me what you think of it. And then I'm gonna tell you my plan. Okay, y'all, so this is the chair that we got yesterday off Facebook Marketplace, y'all. It was only 40 bucks, and it's such a great quality, like, Look at the legs, the gold wheels. Uh, everything about it is just so cute. The only thing I don't really like is the fabric, y'all. So we are planning to reupholster this and we'll probably go to the craft store in this video, pick out some different fabric swatches so we can figure out how we're gonna get this baby looking even better. But yeah, this is going to be the main desk chair in the office. It's super duper comfy. Um, and yeah, it looks really executive. I like it. I like that it doesn't look too new. I like the shape of it, it's absolutely perfect. And I can't believe we got it for $40. I feel like that was such a steal. And I don't think I'm gonna take the fabric off. I think I'm just gonna put it on top of here. You know, because, yeah, I think that would just be the easiest thing. But I really, really like it. Like, it's actually a really nice comfy chair. It goes back a little bit, a little rocking action. This was a win. So the only thing I'm really concerned about now is where are we going to find our desk from? No idea. And I've been looking up at Marketplace. We've been popping into Goodwills every now and again. I still haven't bought anything that I love. I showed you guys in the first video a desk option that was like insanely expensive. I don't want to pay that much, but I love that style of desk and we could build something like that, but with Marcus making the bench, you know, it's already a lot that we're that he's building. So I'm really gonna keep looking and searching and I'll keep you guys updated with the desk search. Hey y'all. So in order to build our built-in bench, right? That's what it's called. Yep. The guy in the video, he put a big board running horizontal mm -hmm. like, uh, across the wall on three sides that are attached to the wall. So this is the big one that's going in the middle. Mm -hmm. And these are the two that are going, going on the sides. Mm -hmm. And then these, it's six of these. I might mm -hmm. need another one, I'm not sure. They're going to be running straight from the bottom of these mm -hmm. to the floor. Okay. like more support. Yes. So that's what we're about to do. You guys already know when it comes to starting a new project, we do lots and lots of research. So when it came to building this bench, we watched so many different YouTube videos to figure out the best way to create a structurally sound and strong bench that would last for years and years to come. And this is the technique that we decided to do. I'll leave the video down below that we mostly followed but we still had to adapt all the measurements to our specific room and everything like that marcus did a great job with measuring everything and you guys are gonna see how it turns out in the end it looks absolutely amazing some of you might be wondering about the vent though that is right here in this area so we're gonna have to reroute the vent basically and we'll probably get to that in the next video, but we are thinking of that too, the best way to still have the air flowing from that vent, 
but not covering it up completely, if that makes sense. And while Marcus is busy working on the bench, I am busy working on this wall, y'all. Trying to get the German smear method going. And in real time, that clip that just passed, it took me like 30 minutes just to do that little square. This is sped up like 20 times, so that's why I'm moving so quick. But y'all, it took me probably two hours to get to the point right here this point two hours yeah it takes a really long time so i'm just going at it we got some music playing trying to create a little vibe but when five o'clock hit we decided to take a break and head over to the craft store to pick out some different fabrics and also we had to run an errand at home depot yeah, but i just feel like dancing are you feeling the groove oh, baby. really pretty okay you guys so we are in joann's now and we are looking for a fabric to cover not only <laughs> not only the chair but also i'm thinking i want the fabric that's on the chair to match whatever we put on the bench which we're gonna have to custom do so right now i'm looking at all the different tweeds and like the stain resistant fabrics to see if i like anything um and I've seen two options so far that are pretty safe, but I want to see if they have anything else that speaks to me. I'm about this fabric right here that I feel as though is so, so, so pretty. Um, but I would not want to do this for the chair, maybe just for the bench. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think this is so cute. It's a lot lighter in person. Hold on, let me adjust the lighting. Okay. That's reading a little bit better. So it's more like a sagey green with like the cream stripes. So I think this is so pretty. I wasn't really trying to do a pattern, but this is speaking to me. This is really speaking to me, but I do not think it goes with the Walmart rug. This will go with the Target rug. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep looking, but this has been the only thing that's like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I really like this. Okay, you guys, Marcus likes this one. This one? <laughs> It'd be a good thing to remind us to dream. What do you guys think? This is kind of cute. It's not, it has like that plaid print, but it's not like, I don't know. Okay, y'all, so I found another fabric that I think I like. I know, right? It's this one, and it's such a good price. Whereas all the other ones we've been looking at have been like $59 and $49. And I'm thinking this would be cute for the bench, for sure. Like, I can see this being in the front window. I can see Marshy sitting on it. And I can see it being, like, like looking really, really nice. And then we do a cream chair for Marcus's. Um, something more durable on the chair. Because ideally, when we make the cushion, I do want it to be removable. I am going to try that. I don't know. I'm really drawn to green today, y'all. I think, do I like this one better? I feel like this fits with the house. Oh, this gray is pretty funny to the kitchen cabinets. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple. I think this is our first time ever getting wood cut for us at Home Depot. I kind of forgot that they did this for you, but this big sheet of plywood, which is gonna be the lid to the bench, it would not fit in our car, it's just too wide. So he cut it in half for us, super quick, super easy. And then also shout out to my girl Pam at Home Depot. She is the best and she hooks us up every time. 
Okay, y'all, so we just made it back home from Joanne's, Home Depot, all the errands that we ran, and now we are back to working on the projects. I'm working on the German Schmear. Marcus is working on the bench, but we ran into a huge bump in the road, basically. That's kind of left me, left me a feeling a little discouraged, but I'm trying to just keep moving on and keep staying like hopeful that everything's gonna turn out okay. Um, so if the German Schmear is not turning out the way that I hoped, let me show you. Do you guys see like how brown it looks? This is just drying look, looking so brown and which would be fine if that's the look that we're going for, but we're not. It just looks really dingy compared to what we did in there. And I don't know if I'm, I'm doing like not as thick as the layers I did in there. I went back and watched the fireplace makeover video and I feel like I'm doing everything the exact same. trying to think about what I did or didn't do to get this type of result because this doesn't look anything like what it looks like in there. So my thing is that's just keep going, keep pressing along and then if all else fails, I may have to, like Marcus was saying, go back over this with more water. So I'll probably test up an area tonight, let it dry, and see what it looks like with the second coat of mortar on it. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out the rest of this. Down here at the bottom is all that I have to do left. But y'all, I still have this whole other wall to do. And call me crazy, but I was thinking if this does not work, like if it does not work, I might just have to cover or paint this and call it a day. That's how I'm feeling right now. But let me just, let me try to troubleshoot and then we'll see. <laughs> so now the front of the bench was complete and Marcus was bringing it into the room. At first y'all, this thing did not want to fit and he was thinking that he was going to have to cut it down a little bit. But instead, we just ended up taking some hammers and just kind of like forcing it into place because it really was such like a tight fit, but it needs to be as snug and secure as possible. So you guys remember that piece of plywood that we got from Home Depot, right? Well, that's what we're using to act as the top of our bench. So Marcus cut out the two little angled sides and put those into place. And then pretty soon you guys are gonna see him go ahead and put the middle section there. And y'all, it's gonna start coming together so, so beautifully. I'm truly amazed. The last piece of the top. Marcus is bringing it in right now. <laughs> and we're about to see if it fits. And it does. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. And so you guys, we left like a little lip. It's not exactly flush right here, so that way we will be able to lift this up, you know? So yeah. So I wanna give y'all some updates. It's a really, really cloudy day here today. I don't, I don't know, but here is how the wall looks. 
okay? For some reason, that little section I did last night, y'all, it's crazy. That little section I did last night, it dried lighter than everything else, like the brown part up here. I don't, I just don't know what the problem would be. Except the trowel I was using, I noticed it had a little bit of rust on it. And where is it? I don't even know where it's at. But, and also I think with me scraping the bricks a lot with the trowel, maybe that was the problem because down here I just used a small little plastic putty. But I remember using the trowel in the living room. So I don't know. But anyway, I did test a little area up here with a second coat of mortar to see if it would still dry brown. So this little patch you guys see right here, right here in this section, that's with the second coat of mortar on top. And you can see the difference, right? So I think I'm gonna have to do that to all of this until I get all the way down here where it's normal. Which is a really big bummer. So you guys let me know down in the comments. I gotta finish this wall and make it look nice, right? We got to. But should I really take the risk over here in this area doing the German shoe method? Or should we just buy some panels, cover it up, call it a day? And I think I should do this side too, right? To complete the wall. Because that's what I'm feeling right now. So let me know down in the comments what you think I should do about this wall behind me. And then we'll go from there. And then I also want to show you guys the bench. Like, it looks so, so, so stinking good. Marcus did an incredible, incredible, incredible job. I think it looks amazing. And it's not even like in yet, but I, it feels so secure with all those supports that he put down there, you guys saw. So it, I just can't wait to read here. It's so much like space right here, even more than I thought. I'm just probably gonna like lay down and like, be like this in the window, reading my books, have my jazz music playing in the background, and it's gonna be a total vibe. So many people can sit here. Um, it's just a vibe. And when Marcus is working, I can just come in here and like chill out or have my laptop and edit in here and look out the window. I think I mentioned to you guys that there is like a air vent down here. Let me show you. So right here we have the air vent. And so what Marcus is going to do is basically extend it all the way to the front right here. So in between these two little beams or pieces of wood is where the new air vent is gonna come out. And we have a decorative piece of metal to cover it up and we're gonna paint it and make it look really pretty. So it's gonna be a little vent right here on the front, but I, yeah, I think it's gonna be fine. And then also there's a plug down there if you guys can see, so. We are thinking this will be a great place to charge stuff. This will just lift like this. And there we have all of this awesome storage down here that can be used and it's gonna be concealed. And so once he puts the air vent on, we're gonna cover this whole thing up with another piece of this plywood. And then we're gonna add the trim and we're gonna add the molding crowd molding around it and it's gonna look like this thing was here since day one okay you guys so I did get a few things in the mail that I really quickly want to show you guys but let's first start off with those swatches that we got from Joann's last night so unfortunately with this fabric once she took it off the roll because we ordered or well, we were getting a little sample which is one eighth of a yard and so she was like, well, what are you guys making out of this? We're like, oh, well, we're thinking it might be a cushion for a bench. And she's like, well, how long is it? We're like, 10 feet. It's just like, oh, this is not enough fabric for that. This fabric was actually on clearance and I didn't realize it was so little on the roll. So she ended up giving me all that was left, which is this amount right here for five books, which is a great deal. I love Joann's. And so, um, she was like, well, you know, you could make pillows out of it or you could do something else with it, curtains or something. And I was like, you're totally right. I'll go ahead and take it. I'm not even sure how much this is, but I know I got it for $5. And so this unfortunately will not be in the running for a bench fabric. I did want to let you guys know that. But I have two other little samples here that are in the running. 
So this is the fabric that I'm thinking would be beautiful on Marcus's chair. I really, really love this. It has creams and tans and browns in it. And the texture of it, it just feels so good. It's so soft. And it's also a performance fabric, which means that it's supposed to be stain resistance, resistant and it's a whole bunch of other little perks. So I really, really like this one. Or for the chair slash bench, we could do this green one that I believe I showed you guys in store as well that I think is so gorgeous. Sorry, let me get that off. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. This is a suede material. I believe it's faux suede, if I'm not mistaken. But y'all, this one is only $19.99 yard. Whereas this one, I don't know where my receipt went. But I think this one is like $54.99 yard, which is really, really, really expensive. Um, and I honestly, right now, I haven't even done the math to know how many yards I would need for the chair and the bench. So I know that this is gonna be quite pricey. Right now at Joann's, all the fabrics are 25% off, so that will help a little bit, but it's still a pretty penny to dish out, but just gotta think of it as an investment if we do go with this. So you guys, leave me your suggestions down below what you think we should do. Should we do the bench and the chair in this fabric? Should we do the bench and the chair in this green fabric? I think it would look beautiful on the chair. I think it would look beautiful on the bench and it's cost effective. Or should we mix it up a little bit? Should we do this performance fabric on the chair and then do the green fabric on the bench or do the green fabric on the chair and then this fabric on the bench? Let me know what you think. Should I do everything one color, switch it up? I don't know. Right now, if I had to pick, I probably would do this on the bench for sure because I feel like it's such a long piece and we're gonna need a lot of it. So cost savings, do this on the bench and then maybe do this on the chair. But I also think this will look really cute in the chair. So this is why I need y'all to help. Let me know what you think. And then maybe we could make pillows out of this. That would be so cute. So. Now that you guys see all the fabric swatches and samples, let's go ahead and open up some packages that I got from Amazon and Target. I want to start with the Target package though because I ordered the smaller version of the Target rug that I showed you guys in last week's video. I um, I just had to y'all, I just had to. And I'm thinking I'm going to put this in the kitchen underneath our kitchen door after I paint that red right now and spring is almost here so yeah this one this rug will not live in here unless you guys think I should get the bigger size to go in here but this is just a little doormat so let's open her up and see and I think I mentioned in the video like I'm so drawn to greens lately I guess in this season oh wow this is so pretty you guys okay so this is the rug. Step back right here. It's really, really pretty. I really like it. Let me give you guys a close up. The coloring in it. See the green, the cream. That looks really, really nice. I think this is gonna look perfect underneath the door in the kitchen, but do you guys still think that the other rug is better? Let me know down below in the comment. This is kind of what everything looks like all together with this one. Look all the colors and stuff. <sighs> I'm torn. I'm... Ay, yeah, yeah. It goes together really well, right? Um, I'll bring the brown rug in here too so you guys can see what the brown looks like with all these swatches. Okay, some other things that I got from Target. And you guys, I will have ow, everything linked down below for you. I bought a few accessories for the bookcases that we're gonna have and the built-in shelf over there. So let's see what these babies look like in real life. Oh, this is so cute. I really wanted a sand timer thingy. 
So I like this so much. It was $19.99. And I think this would be like a really cool feature over on the bookcase wall. Okay, and this one was $14.99. And it basically is just like a little clock. Thought that was fun. So we have a few time accessories, which I feel like is perfect for office. So cute, and I love the brassy shades that these two things both have. And our last package is from Amazon. Door knobs for the room. So I think that's what's in here. Start with whatever this is. Oh, okay. So these are the doorknobs for the French door. So we ordered dummy doorknobs because um, the handles aren't gonna turn like that. They're just gonna like click into place. And I bought the clickers in here too. So this is the face of the dummy doorknob, the little plate. And here is the knob, I'm assuming. You guys already know I got the glass knob. Like I hinted towards that in the last video. That I thought that would be really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, and it is. It's so pretty. Wow. I don't know how it'll stay in, but I'll try to hold it. Hold it in place. Okay, so this is what it'll look like, you guys on the door how stinking cute is that and wow so in this kit it comes with two doorknobs and two plates so just imagine the two of these like next to each other on the different doors it's gonna look so good i cannot wait to install these and it's gonna make such a difference like these are the little things that i'm so excited about I cannot wait. And we have one more box in here. This is not a set. Oh, this is a set, okay. And I think these are more glass knobs, you guys, in here. But they're for the closet door and then the door that leads in from the hallway. very well so for this kit it does come with like the um this little thing i can't remember what it's called right now but we won't need that for the french doors and here's the doorknob this one will actually turn oh, oh. oops hold on i think we need that <laughs> but here it is right here you guys how pretty is that? I'm gonna have everything like down below for y'all. This is stunning, what? I feel like the office is gonna be such a special place. I, I think these little touches just make all of the difference. Okay, you guys, so that is everything that we were able to accumulate this week for the office. I'm hoping that by the time I see you guys next week, we will have a desk secured because I feel like that is the last thing that we're missing. So I'm gonna be on the lookout. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, and please be sure to like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe. Liking helps me so, so much. I'm trying to get back in the algorithm for YouTube. I've been, I haven't been as consistent, so YouTube like doesn't boost my videos as much as it usually would. So if you guys could like the video, that'll help. And then commenting, like engagement, also helps down below too to let YouTube know they're like okay this is good content and so they'll share it with more and more people and then you guys want to share it on your own to your family and friends all of that if you want to like put the video on a loop that'll help me too <laughs> okay but I love y'all and I'll see you soon bye